User joined your channel. Good morning, everyone. Do a uh, check before we kick off if you can let me know if you can hear me okay. User joined your channel. Hey, White Oak. Thanks, channel. mate. I've um, spent a fair bit of time yesterday doing some tweaking on the um, Streamlabs OBS to get the volume, or get my voice right after listening to yesterday and go, bugger. Um, so hopefully it's loud and clear and uh, I will muck around with the sound a little bit once we're in game just to crank the game engine up game sound up I think when you do these live streams because you turn the game volume down so people can actually hear you it's the game volume I jammed it right up yesterday when I was practicing for today and I thought it's that the engine sound in particular. We'll be doing that, but uh, and welcome to those viewing our Desert Wimpy Desert Wings to Brook Wellington Bomber tutorial. I'm joined today by Tag Ezzy and a couple other guys are going to be on comms as well. Um, Link Bubble Axe's slot is, I can't see it on another screen at the minute. Um, we're going to join us in learning the, the welly today. Um, a big shout out to Ezzy, who is the man responsible for the Wellington flashcard and with Desert Wings to Brook. And uh, that Wellington flashcard and size, its pages, um, was our inspiration to then, what's in our flashcard team, the manual team, um, to do the same with all the bombers that are in game so they're, they're quite comprehensive and by following it following all of them including the single engine aircraft is you'll be up and at it in no time and uh, that was the idea is to get people to actually be able to fly the aircraft, sort of burn the engines and so forth and actually enjoy the aircraft because a hell of a lot of time was put into making it and the more people get to fly it the better Hey Co, how are you? So this morning's tutorial will go to the Danger Dogs to Brook server. The reason we're going to do that is it gives us the ability to do external uh, viewing and That's that's pretty cool. Be able to do that and look around and be able to see who else is around as well because uh, players' names are above their aircraft. So we'll get into that. Uh, okay. I don't have your stream up. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sweet. 
So have you logged into a server yet? Okay, so we're going to jump into um, Bardia. Um, the only other option is to Brook. But uh, having done a bit of practice on this yesterday, it's uh, no point there because it's an active, um, <laughs> it's getting attacked all the time. So there's no point going through this and having our bombers bombed, strafed, which is exactly what happened to me yesterday. So we're going to get into Bardia here. As you can see on the screen, these are the aircraft that are available to fly on the red side, on an assortment. And for Danger Dogs, including the, the three versions of the Wellington, the 1A, 1C Trop, and the 1C Trop Torpedo. Um, if we do get a chance today, we'll, um, we'll do some bombing and some level bombing and some torpedo is uh, a lot simpler in you don't have to look through a bomb site this is a lot harder to actually hit particularly if you don't want to get shot down getting too hit because you drop a fair way out to work out where they can be when your torpedo eventually gets there so we'll choose the wellington 1c trop and I will apologise for some background okay. noise. Um, it's uh, pretty stormy at my place today. So about half an hour ago, we had a bucket of lightning and even more thunder quite close in. Um, and uh, as I say in Australia, now the rains are here. So you'll probably hear that and uh, I can't do much about it. Okay, for the loadout, okay, so for the loadout today, because um, what I intend to do is we'll go through um, a bit of, we'll go through the flashcard, um, we'll kick the wellies over, and uh, we'll do a couple of circuits, a couple of landing, a couple of takeoffs, so we'll just go with no, uh, no bombs and minimum fuel. So in the loadout options, um, these are the options you've got. Game. Choose from there. 18250 is it certainly has a decent bomb load, the Wellington. And uh, for those who have been occlusive dove for many years and, and for those who fly red and had the Blenheim, um, the Blenheim is absolutely nowhere near this bomb load. So it was a welcome addition to the sim for the um, for the red guys to actually have a bomber that could carry a punch. So we'll go empty. Um, we'll just bring the we'll just bring the fuel to thirty. Actually, no, bring the fuel to twenty for some initial flying. You also get to choose. Different variants, as you can see. So here we go with this. Ah, uh, here we go. Crafter. The game did come with a few different options here. Skins. But um you know, the the Desi Mule where are we? Go. And you can choose some weathering. Weather today. Once again, sorry for the rain, it's actually a bit harder than what it was a few minutes ago. 
And uh, just for those that are watching, thank you again. Um, let us know if you actually tried the Wellington out in Desert Wings to Brook. What you thought of it. Put it on chat, that'd be great. Which airfield are you planning to spawn into? Uh, going into Bardia today. Okay, stand by. I'll go to Bardia. Okay, I'm just going to adjust where my engine settings are on the left-hand side. That was a very dramatic end of that sentence. It's going to. Oh, someone's kicking off their willy over there already. Hey, bubble axe over there. I'm just going to adjust my head tracker. It's just going a little bit quick. I need it to get to the point where I can look down there and we'll go through the cockpit and pick. Oh, that's better. Okay, I don't know who's taken off there. It might be an AI, actually. Name. Okay, we'll just do an external of the welly. See the 1C trop's got the waste gunners there. By a day in uh, Desert Wings to Brooklyn. He's outside my window right now. But um, as many would know, the Wellington variant, the 1A, was a non-flyable, uh, human flyable aircraft in Cliffs of Dover, and, or Desert Wings to Brook. You guys spent User joined your channel. Frankly, years making it a flyable aircraft. The, um, the cockpit, which I was fortunate enough to watch the development of, was incredible. I personally think the uh, best all bird cockpits in flight sims. Fantastic job. But, um, also, with the flyable version, gave us the ability to jump in the air and forward turret, which we'll go into in a second. Give you guys a bit of a look, and then we'll get into hey, the panel. Just code. in case you didn't see it, the message says restarted in 15 minutes. Okay, so. Okay, so the good thing about the um, using the Danger Dog server is we can do externals. The negative is in about 15 minutes it's going to restart, which is okay. Um, so when it restarts, or when it ends, we'll just wait for the restart and we'll come back in. Because um, I just think the external shots are um, really important for the tutorial today. Okay, and I'm going to do a bit of a shout out to GP out there who put in requests of uh, Paddle, when you're doing the live stream, can you turn the cockpit lights on? So, GP, this is for you. There you go, mate. You cannot say, I do not listen to what you tell me, what you ask. So, this is the cockpit, LinkedIn 1C. Another great aspect of the Clifford Dover Desert Wings to Brook aircraft is the clickable cockpits. And whilst they're not fully clickable, there are quite a number of areas in the aircraft that are. 
and what we'll do when we bring up the um, we'll go through the flashcard and I'll just go through the cockpit and put the mouse over areas that you can actually click in them and there's quite a bit but um, it is quite outstanding I'll just quickly go through the other stations in the aircraft then we'll get into it okay out of there for the station actually out there for all made in front of us when you're actually flying you can see the turret button there you can see that turret spinning around wasn't much view the um the one c late has a different view at the front than this version which the version makes it a little bit easier to bomb so um the good thing having ezzy on is ezzy is the master bomber of us two tend to be a great bomber if anyone who saw my live stream from last weekend i thought i'll just live stream me practicing it surely i'll hit the uh, target um of our bombing target mission, single mission that comes with the game, um, I couldn't hit 25 barn doors. I was absolutely dreadful. So um, I'm probably like a lot of people on today, looking forward to mastering that art because I actually quite like flying bombers. Uh, don't really want to go too low on this thing because any any aircraft fire around gets you and gets you pretty quick. Okay, so here's the forward gun. I'll just gauge it with the mouse. Got their slot over there. Uh, Ezzy's over there. Let's look at the names. Once again, I mentioned this yesterday in the live stream we had, the Christmas live stream. Is could you imagine? And sorry, that's a head tracker that shudders a little. It's just me. But could you imagine? Um, sitting in this with the lack of visibility you had. Now I do get it that life they can get their head to move around a little bit more but that is a whole lot of framework to see anything. I'll just go zoom in and I'll turn on the sight. We'll give the guns a bit of a run. There we are. And as I said um, at the start, I'm going to muck around a little bit with the sound settings because I've got the game sound settings down so you can actually hear me. But what you don't get, and as the thunder outside of my window is telling, is you don't get the real good sound because it's just not loud enough. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to put the sound up and bring it back down again. But I won't talk because I'm just going to do this by my camera. Yeah, so it's a little bit meatier there. And I just want to check that um, now that I've mucked around with the sound, I hope I didn't bugger it up. Um, if you can just let me know if you can hear me as, as good as you were a second ago, that'd be great. Okay, welcome to the rear turret. Once again, I think the guys have done a really great job modeling. 
Yeah. I don't know about uh, you guys, but it'd be um, claustrophobic to be sitting in this. Certainly, if you had to get out of it in a hurry, don't envy those guys. Very brave men. Uh, thanks, Whitehawk. Appreciate that. There's, a, there's just so you know, there's about a 20 second delay from when I'm talking to when you guys hear it. So I'm kind of in front and I'm looking. If you see me looking left, it's because I've got my iPad with the YouTube comments um, just there. So I'll try my best to make it a little bit subtle like that and it might be falling out. Um, okay. So we'll just go over, we'll just go over the uh, the cockpit, and I'll move the mouse around, and people can see the clickable areas of it. Okay. So we'll start from the hips. So you got your fuel toggles, they work. And you can see um, I do have the uh, settings just on the right hand side. You know, if you want to go full reel, don't do it. And you just go there and you know it's in. And you can see how the, the um, lock goes over the top so they can't easily pop out again. Okay, you've got the rudder and elevator trims. I'll just show you that. That's the elevator trim. Zoom in a bit. A lot. They run into cutoffs work. Okay, so supercharger is that? Oh. So you got the prop pitch. Sorry for the uh, the kettle that's going on in the background. But uh, yeah, I have a family here. Life. Okay, carburetor heat is clickable. Mixtures, the throttle. Over here. Get my yoke back. Okay, magnetos. Bombay door. That. As you get lights up here. Radiator settings. Gyro compass. Horse setter. Get the undercarriage, landing flaps, um, for those who want to know where the flat position is, that's what there is there. Yeah. So what we'll do now is I'll bring the flashcard over and let everyone know where you find a flashcard if you don't know where your flashcards are.
Okay, so... Yeah, so if you can let me know if you can see this okay. I'm looking at it on YouTube. So the flashcards are located in the game directory in the manual section and uh, we're in a number of different uh, languages we tried to cater for the majority of our audience the great thing about them is one there's a lot there is Um, you just go to the aircraft, you just left click on the aircraft and it goes straight to it. So the Wellington flashcard has three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. Um, if you have a second screen, this is going to come in really handy with you. If you don't have a second screen, um, print them out, probably in black and white. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to run through um, point by point. Um, I'm going to have this on my other screen, so I can. So you're going to see my head moving a little bit um, right to left a little bit as I read them off. But um, we're going to go from the top right through, and uh, then we'll be able to kick it over. Okay, well, in that 15 minutes, uh, that would be the um, changeover. So we'll just uh, wait for the Tobruk server to come back up. we go. Right on. Gotcha. Oh, I'm following on the live stream now. Ah, oh, good eye. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the Bombay, we've got 20%. And here we go. So that was actually pretty good timing. It would have been a bummer if we just took off and it uh, and the server stopped. So take that win. Here we are, back in Bardia. Time of the day. Right button to move around. I think that's from the other... Hopefully that'll go away, otherwise I'll just get rid of the window. Okay. Get brighter. Oh, I remember GP telling me that'll get the lights on. There we go. Right, okay, so here we got we got silk bubble axes over there. Let's look around from these guys. Oh, over there. So if everyone's ready, if everyone's ready, we'll go through the Okay, first thing you need to do is apply chocks. So that is a key bound application. Chocks in. The fuel tank selector one here, as we saw before. One and two, and that gate is locked. Set magnetos to on. I'm gonna turn the volume up.
Okay, if you just let me know if you can hear my voice still clearly enough over... Well... Guys over there has kicked their engines over. Okay, next is prop pitch to fine. Prop pitch there, so fully forward. Set supercharger to medium and carburetor heat to cold. So they're both down as well in the quadrant. Okay, you can see the supercharger is at medium. Is up is full, so we're good to go there. The carburetor heat is it cold? No, that's in the right spot. Throttle to 10%. Now, if you don't have the throttle at digital reading like I've got in the bottom left, you're gonna have to wing it a little bit there. But, uh, let's see that in there, so I'll get that at 10%. Select engine one, which is rebound. So I'll do that. Let's kick it over. Okay, so that engine's still warming up, so you can't go full throttle straight away. Okay, so number two's turn. I'll do an external though. That one's kicking over. Okay, next step is once engine temperatures reach approximately 30 degrees, um, okay, we've got both engines, so this is where we test engine temperature to 40, engine temperature to 37 because we keep the starboard off second. It's getting up, but so that's good to go. Okay, the next is select flap indicator. Oh no, guess we go. Number eight, throttle up and observe the RPMs to ensure both engines are in sync. Source changes with the repairs as well. Again. Okay, cool. okay 
Okay, next step. So the engines are good to go. Flap indicated 15 degrees or 0 0.2 on the indicator. So as I mentioned before, this is the flap indicator here and the flap switch is here. So I'm going to manually do this. Okay, so the next one is remove jocks, release brakes, slowly apply throttle, and carefully use differential brakes and then rudder. So, as it says in the flashcard, um, this aircraft will easily tip on the nose due to excessive brake, so you have to be very careful one at the start and one when you're uh, landing as well. And then uh, we'll just see if we can find where the runway is. So it's over there, but look at it. to the left. Okay guys, so we're going to go um, do a couple of circuits. So the runway kicks off to the left. Um, if you want to follow me. Or actually, I might uh, be last than my jump in. There we go, so anyway, we'll do this. We'll taxi over here. Okay, so let's taxi over that way there. Find out where the board's finish. Hey Nikita, how are you? But yeah, just want to confirm everyone can actually hear me okay still.
Okay. Okay, so just let me go, guys. My engine that definitely doesn't sound good, but wait and see. Get back to the mechanics for that one. Do a circuit and come back and land again, eh? Speed, see that the speed's at 130. 
Alex has mentioned so you don't know is in. there I think. Oh hello. Touch and go. Oh, touch and go mate. Let us know what you think, what you're seeing. It's coming in a little bit hard there, a little bit fast and use a lot of runway. That's a touch and go. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. This one does that. Okay, I need another aircraft and then we'll do another takeoff. Yeah, just for the sake of time, I'm going to do this a little bit quicker this time. Let us know what you thought of those landings that the guy assisted. They did a pretty good job. Top. Top. Oh no, watch slot coming in. Alright, slot. Everyone's watching you, mate. Yeah, it's a bit of runway left, but I'm not sure he's got that much runway. circuit and then uh, get to the next stage eh? Flaps. 
uh, I'll just do the turn around, go back to land, and then we'll get into setting up the compass.
Steve Kerr, how you going mate? Thanks for joining. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off, I'm just going to turn my engines off so I can go through the next bit. Christmas chaps. Oh, you're on a live stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, How dare you be frivolous and jovial on a live stream? God, Marlo, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> mate we're, uh, come and join us in the Wellingtons. We're in a Danger Dog server at Bardia, and it's flying club time. We got, uh, we're doing circuits, and as we're going through the flashcard for anyone who wants to learn about the uh, Welly. Ah, okay. It's the, it's the postponed one. Yeah, well, yep. not today. Right, Joe. Been close. Yeah, um, I'll try and join you in about ten. No worries. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, who's at the? Uh, who's about ready to take off their slot? Who's with you up there? Right, if you guys want to. You guys want to take off? Go for it. I'll film it. Oh, slot looks like you are, mate. Whoever's in front of you just turned their engines off, have they? Yeah. yeah we've got a few. I've had system problems, so I'm just uh, trying to get. Oh. That's okay. Okay, well while the guys are uh, filming another takeoff then, we'll run through the next section of the flashcard. Um, what's important um, in the flashcard after landing procedure is your engine management? I don't management. know the welly could be because we're all accounted for, I can see everybody's name except that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, is, is it your abandoned welly? The one you broke? Uh, couldn't imagine. <laughs> no, I left it where I'm at now. Uh, the engine management, which is really critical if you don't want to burn your engine. Yeah. Can't say I haven't been busted on that. Following that, but uh, we follow that uh, all day, all day. I'll just get out of the screen and bring up the flashcard. Go to the next part. Chris is to you too, mate. I think. May not. Okay, so we're going to run through the next component, as I mentioned, the setting of the compass. So, obviously we're all on the ground, which is great. Uh, so rotate two parallel lines. There. Placing the cursor on the rim, which I'll see and show you in a tick, and pressing the course setter. Label. Rotate until the end. That aligns with the T, which is the T there, and the number at a 12 o'clock position on the dial is the aircraft's current magnetic heading. And then set the gyro there in front of the yoke to this heading as well. So we'll go and do that. So we need to get the end over here. Okay. Just hold the mouse button down. Okay. It's pretty close and that is telling me 303 degrees. So we'll go over here. Three. Just let's get the middle down. Five. 
303. Okay. We are done. Oh, whatever height. Maybe get to a thousand feet and just go course mode. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're all going to take off, um, climb out to go up the coast, um, climb to a thousand feet, and then we're going to set the uh, autopilot. Just run through the engaging autopilot on the flashcard first and take off. So, engaging the autopilot. Once the aircraft is flying wings level on a desired heading, set the gyro which is that, gyro, to zero. And you can use keys, or as you can see, you can use the mouse because it's clickable in the cockpit, which is great. Um, and then you need to select course mode. Now, that's something you need do need to have mapped out, so uh, check the settings for that. Um, once the directional gyro is at zero, activate autopilot and maintain that heading. And then you press that same button again. Well, to me, you go to mode 22. So it's going to come up. You know you're doing it because I've got it on the mode management here. And once the directional gyro is at zero, engage mode 22 autopilot by stepping through course mode, as I mentioned. And then the aircraft will do a few minor adjustments and then it will maintain the altitude and heading of fly the aircraft straight level. And then heading adjustments can be made by changing the direction of the row heading using the bound keys. So you can do that manually or use your mouse. And we'll show that as well. Okay, so we'll kick the engine back over. We need to get the throttle at 10.
Would I have the 1C light version of the rally or just the 1C version? Yeah, the, the easiest one is the 1C light. I don't actually, I'm, I'm not very uh, proficient with the other side. It's the blending side. Okay, well, we'll find out where the 1C light is. If not, we'll just have to go. I was just said only the 1C on the server. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go back and land and then we'll go to see if we can get on the Jabuk server and go to the um, an airfield. We're going to miss the external views, but um, we'll be able to get the right box side in, so we'll do that. Let us know if that's any good. Okay, guys, I haven't got the uh, comments for a little bit. What is it concentrating? Uh, if you can just let me know if that sounds better now, or if I need to bring it down a little bit more. Now, uh, leave the game settings there. Snapper, I just read that. Do I have a license? Clearly not. I just turned the game down so you can hear me there. Maybe you pick up no one could hear me. Uh, that should be uh, much better now, guys. If you can just let us know. Yes, now I'm in the uh, uh, Danish dog server, which we're going to go to. Now we're going to get in there, I think. Oh, that's where we were, over there. Approach, so I'm just going to skip it in. So I've got left out of run. I've got full right rudder. Drop some speed here. Thanks, Joe. Righto.
too high, so be mindful they're not stalling out at 100. As I was saying earlier, the Wellington does tend to glide. I'll just put the prop pitch to fine. Beautiful, as he. Well, Snap, I might have a license to land at least, hey? It's still hard to hear now. Um, sorry, yo. <laughs> I'm 20 seconds behind what you can hear when I say it, so I'm a little bit uh, behind when I'm looking at the, the chats there. Um, we'll watch some other guys coming in. I'm coming in where you just landed. Yeah, those are different fields. Yep. Up comes Desert. Lovely. Cool, where that one's going. He's got the port wheel down. He might be going to the... Oh. Can you come starboard? No, coming in here. That's probably that height that I was coming in, so let's see how he goes. Hey, Red. Good to hear, have you here, mate. Thanks for uh, commentary on my landing. Who's coming in now? <laughs> I just asked and comes who was coming in and no one answered, so whoever it is is concentrating a lot. Nice work. Nice on bubble axe. Oh, nice. Copy. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to jump out of danger dogs because we want to get into yep. a different welly and do the bombing component. Snapper, what are you on today, mate? I'm on the ground.
so paddle as a suggestion maybe uh, manistere Team Fusion 3 is uh, showing to Brook map, target to Brook. So if we go to go to Manistee, that's where the wellies are. And if we go bomb Gazala number two, that, that's the closest target that's um, relevant. It's pretty straightforward. So I'll just show on the map where um, where we'll take off from and uh, where is he's talking about. There's a number two. Okay, so this is where we're going to hit. We're going to hit an airfield. Too difficult for us. And we're going to fly from Manistee. It's a bit of a flight, but that's okay. Thirty percent. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get Ezzy to go lead on this mission. We don't have the name recognition or names um, or external views. Server, so uh, give a bit more of an eye who's who. Welcome to minus T number two. Don't get too far to uh, get on the runway, which is handy. Yeah, let's go through that checklist again. Make sure we're good to go. I mentioned before that's where the radiators are. Okay. Fully closed, fully open. Closed, fully open. engine selected we'll keep an eye on the temps 22 that take not too long to get up to temperature here. now you see in the bomb series 2 you've got single series or salvo given that I've got so many 250s I'm going to go salvo I went single by the time I dropped them all we spread them outside of the uh, Chance, excuse me for butting in, but um, Bubba, Bubba Deluxe here. Um, is the pistols, um, any pistols okay? I think so, Bubba. Okay, thanks. Purpose. Thanks.
Yeah, just go to the Bombardier station. Is it? Well, yeah, I've got system problems, so if I don't catch up with you guys, just just carry on. Okay, so this is the tight in the one C late. So to get rid of the, let me just click on it. Sorry to delay. The last stuff. One has to look after one's wife. We'll have to support them doing live streams. There you go. Okay, so we're back in the cockpit. The, let's check the engine temperatures here. 48, 40 and 50, very good, because start with first. Okay, I'll just rev the engines up, make sure they're in sync. That's good. Let us know, Pete, when you're ready for me to uh, take over. Yeah, mate, this is uh, all yours now, Izzy. Um, I'm happy to run through uh, the Flash card as we go, but uh, mate, you're the uh, you're the man with this, so I'll let you come, Daddy, if you like. Okay, right out. Hi guys, it's Ezzy. Uh, I'll be leading today on the bomb mission. Uh, we're going to go to Gazala number two. It's a nice, easy target. It's probably about a 20, 25 minute transit from here. What we So now we'll be going, going up there as he's uh, bombs there, but um, we're going through this part of the flashcard, part one and part two. So what we're going to do is take off and then fly on a heading of about 290. Uh, don't stress about that, just follow me, I'll fly the heading. Um, and then once we hit the coast, um, once we hit the coast, we'll then follow that pretty much to Gazala. We'll more or less fly over the top of Tobruk. And what we'll do is when we fly over Tobruk, we will engage uh, mode 2-2 two -two and go from there. Okay, copy. 
And lastly, what I try and do in terms of airspeed is around 140 or 150 miles per hour. And on the Tobruk map, uh, you have to fly slightly reduced settings, but you're looking at about 600 feet per minute, maybe a little bit more. So by the time we get to Gazala, we should be up around 10 or 11,000 feet. So ro rolling in three seconds. Because if I don't fly to the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I just said there's Ezzy, his wheels up and boom. Right <laughs> on. Oh, no. You put a tree your, your, your flaps are fully <laughs> down pedal. Uh, so maybe Taylor, you take off and I'll, I'll follow yeah. later. <laughs> right on. Watch out for the uh, trees you run. I was uh, concentrating on something else. Oh, they're coming up now, Pat. Out there. Yeah, I got them. Thanks for that. Yep. Right. Uh, <laughs> who put who put those trees at the end of the runway? That's nothing like a good start. That's uh, that, that is a good start. It can only happen in a live stream. <laughs> I'm slightly nervous after that. <laughs> uh, oh well, there's the market for the middle of the runway here again. They've got that elevator trim nice and. Oh, okay, that needs to be close, I've got to say. Okay, so what is it? Yeah. We're on the short runway. Some, I think we had a drunk someone at the uh, airfield there and they put the boards in the wrong spot. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was close. Yeah. I think someone from the blue side might have got a hold of the boards overnight or something like that. Let's see who's taking. I can't see who's taking off, but uh -oh. oh, someone's pulling up pretty quick. No stall. Oh, here I don't. Oh, it's still going. Hang on, or is he? Yeah. It's just like lemmings. Everybody goes the same way. I know. <laughs> Okay, who's up next? Yep, that person's right in the middle, nice. Alright, we're good there. Yeah. 
definitely one. Okay. Oh yeah, when you get in the air, you can see the. Um A narrow gap I was able to aim through. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, yo, um, you let me know if that's okay now because the game sound that I can hear is actually quite low. I don't really like the welly. Yeah, there's lots to it, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Loads to learn. Yes. <laughs> if we fly, if we fly at 10% revs, we'll be okay with the period. Great job. He was very polite to that Dave Rills guy. <laughs> Did he miss? Try again. No. Have to try again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a third, third time lucky. Third time lucky. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was okay. I thought I was okay, so I'll uh, try it again. So I'll ride this into the sand. Righto, yeah, I just turned down. It's not bad, but you can still lower it more. Okay, cool, yeah. Ready, watch your oil temperature. Right, it's gone down to about five. So um, let's see how that goes. Thanks, mate. Doing a great job, too. And uh, yeah, thanks once again for those who are tuned in today to our Welly tutorial. Go and watch the live stream back later on to watch the first parts. We're now going to the bombing. We've done the startup, we've done some circuits, we've done navigation, and this now is where we're it's good that I'm subscribed to your live stream YouTube channel because yes. I got the notification. Yeah, that was great. Of course, my wife was asking me, where are you going? There's a war on here. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And uh, just remind me, because I, I never remind myself, is, um, yeah, so you don't miss any live streams, subscribe to our channel. That yeah. would be great. There's that delay, so it makes it very confusing. <laughs> He's our expert. Yep. Okay, everyone, we've got uh, oh, well, Ezzy really on. Be here. I stumbled and uh, bundled my way in, uh, Snap, not realizing that um, it was actually a live stream. Oh! Because, of course, I'd forgotten that it had been um, delayed and postponed, you know, rearranged. Yep. But me not being too hot on the old diary front. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't get all your forms all filled out to participate? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm probably just going to get shot down in a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here it was. I'm following just the, the just for the good of the collective. This is it. I'm yeah, right behind like A for Oz, which I think Apple's aircraft. Um, so I could ram it, I suppose. <laughs> well, you could. You could, but you won't. Looking particularly uh, good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're just, just going to wait to see. Hey, hi, Jack. Jack. Hi, yo. Yeah, I'd like these accused. Oh, is that Ezzy taken off? Uh, oh, let's all watch. Yeah. Yeah, Can Ezzy, is that you taken off? Sand is. Yep. Okay, I'm like a pro. On behalf of uh, the flight sim community, I just want to thank Ezzy for actually getting off the ground this time. And, uh... <laughs> this is so unfair, Ezzy. You're the one who's showing us all how to do this. There's no justice. I, I'm, when it comes to live streams, I'm normally one that something goes totally wrong, and it's just good to see someone else in the same boat. <laughs> Well, the good the good thing There's is we know one. which one Ezzy is, so we can all just follow up and form up on Ezzy. All right. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. As, so Ezzy's sort of more or less set course. He seems to be beavering away on his own. He is. Yeah. So <laughs> that's Ezzy down there. Yeah. We know that's Ezzy because that's his third. Yeah. We know that's Ezzy because that's his third aircraft. Um. He's got the do not come back with a broken aircraft message from his mechanics. Right. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with him. And yeah, so what do you say, mate? To Brook, we're going to go autopilot, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. I'm going autopilot pretty soon. Oh, okay. So now, what, when what you go into 22 right? mode, I've noticed we tend uh, to we'll drop get up to about 11. But I'll just go on uh, course mode shortly. Let me get my engine sorted. Yep. Yep. So just give me two seconds. Look at us. Don't we look formidable? Yeah. There's five of us, I think. And there's one way behind. That's me. Roger that. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to trim out a little bit. Let's we'll put the lunch in slot. Welcome. Catch up to Izzy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's great having you here, guys. It's yeah, top I'm season. flying very cautiously. No pressure, mate. It's only about <laughs> yeah. thousands of people who will watch this later on. I think I got a tent stuck to my undercarriage as I took off there, but anyway. <laughs> mate. <laughs> Okay, so I've just engaged course mode. Uh, my settings are standby. 2180 for RPM. And I've got five for boost. Just gotta watch your temps on this map. Supercharger on, I see. Oh. Yep, supercharger's on. I'm setting oh. on, on okay. one four pound boost. 4.8. If you fly the uh, European, map, you can pretty much fly uh, higher settings than this, but the temperature on this map means that you have to keep an eye on it. Yeah. This just shows how difficult it is to do formation flying. And, you know, when you haven't got any human eyeballs on your aircraft saying, and this is someone's next to you or whatever, and this is your view, you've really got to be careful. So as soon as I hit the coast, I'm going to turn to basically point my aircraft at the rook, and then just reset the course mode. Be 
Okay, so trim down a lot better now, and that'll make it catch up to it quicker. If there's one guarantee in this, someone's going to burn their engine, and I guarantee that someone is me. <laughs> I'll jump in someone's aircraft if that happens to me. So if you haven't done so already, I would recommend jumping into your Bombardier station and setting up a couple of things. So what I do typically is I put in the target elevation, I don't know what the target elevation is for this map, but we'll just go with zero, unless someone wants to look it up in the flashcard. I've, I've got it. Uh, Gazala number two. Yeah, what's its altitude? 154 feet. Okay. So put 154 mm -hmm. into the altitude. So you can't actually put exactly 154, you either choose 150 or 160, okay. uh, shouldn't matter that much. Then the other thing to check is your bombing mode, uh, you've got essentially series and salvo. Salvo means that when you press the button once, all the bombs will drop. Series mode, uh, which you can set up, uh, each time you press the button, a number of missiles uh, fall out or bombs fall out. So set that to salvo in this case, and then you're done. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get a bit close to the here. Hey, Prilla, how you going, man? See you here. So we're approaching the coast, side across the coast. I'll be turning uh, to the left foot and then uh, basically looking to put my nose onto Jabril. That cut in the corner, cheating down one. <laughs> oh, that could well be me. Now, given that we are on a triple map, and I'm not um, quite sure if yeah. there's any reds playing. Okay, we've got yeah. Alpha. And I'm uh, behind you, I think, Arlo. I, think I allowed myself screen. to fall behind. Uh, uh, they might be after My head stuck in the cockpit. Roger. But I've got everybody in sight, so I'll do my best to catch up. Okay, so I'll be disengaging force mode in a sec, and then I'll be heading to uh, to book, and then resetting force mode. Roger. Uh, I can do that again. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ezzy, sorry, could you just repeat that altitude? Was it 600 you said we would go for? Uh, we'll go for, um, whatever for the target. Oh, the, sorry, the target's elevation is uh, 156 feet. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just a, what I'm going to do now is disengage force mode so that I can turn onto a new heading and then I'll re engage it. So the way I do that is I disengage autopilot. Uh, I will turn the aircraft onto the desired heading. I will then turn the directional gyro to zero and then I will re-engage autopilot. The aircraft will then fly a little bit of a shimmy 
but then it will establish itself on the new heading. Uh, at this stage, we don't need to be 100% precise. We can just uh, agricultural at this stage. Uh, I'm getting out. I'm currently in uh, course mode. I'll be stepping through mode 22 to go back to no autopilot. So autopilot off. Well, there's two auto pilots. There's mode 22, which maintains your heading and altitude. Uh, course mode just maintains your heading. It's a uh, auto pilot mode as well. Okay, so turning I'm now. Here's his corner there to get a bit closer to him. Just coming through now. So this is roughly the heading on a fly, so I'll just re-establish. Correct. Yep, yeah, yeah, of course I. saw that um, I've got the directional gyro linked to um, control and then the arrows on my keyboard. Okay, now things. I'm back on course mode, the aircraft did a bit of a shimmy, but then it should establish. So I'm more or less aiming to fly over the top of Tabrook. As, as you were saying, there's a little bit of a shimmy, and then it sets itself up. Height are you now, Ezzy? I'm at 7,600 feet. Gotcha. I'm doing 140 miles per hour, and I'm doing about 500 feet per minute. Once we get to the, the book area, we'll um, go into uh, mode 22, and that will then uh, maintain a steady altitude. If everybody's uh, made the turn okay, the next thing I'll talk about is how to use the nose gun to aid bombing. In the Wellington, the nose gun is the key uh, thing to use to use the bomb successfully, bomb aiming successfully, primarily because you've got very limited view out of the bomb aimer station. Uh, so what I do is I go into the nose gun, uh, and then the key to using the nose gun is knowing when the nose gun is pointing straight ahead. And the way I use that, or the way I do that is with uh, Tracer. When you fire a tracer from your nose gun, um, if you're flying straight and level, the tracer will fall down to your six o'clock in your gun sight. Um, if you're pointing left or right, the uh, tracer will uh, go left or right of the six o'clock position. So you have to move your turret until the fall of shot goes through your six o'clock position. And once it does that, you'll know that you're then pointing straight ahead. Um, and that's important because then you then look through that gun sight to orientate the aircraft towards your target. And I'll be showing that as uh, we get a bit closer. Right. 
I thought it was Darth Vader. <laughs> Sorry, Chance, that was me getting a pencil <laughs> to chop down some meat fire. You gotta trust me. You gotta trust me. <laughs> <laughs> going to be slightly north of uh, Tobruk, but that's fine. Uh, we just want to follow the coast into the target primarily, so uh, it's good enough for government business. I think it might be maybe that you've used your keys to move your directional gyro and not the button. Well that's okay. interesting because I use a couple of keys to move my directional gyro. When I get it to north, by the time I've got to a button that engages either you know, with the autopilot, either course or mode 22, I've gone off by a degree or so. And that might explain why I sometimes too go off the course I've really set, you know? Hmm. I have exactly the same problem, Marlon. Sorry to slot here. Yeah, if you use the buttons that you, you set the direction of the gyro, you can change course to in mode 22 by a degree at a time. Yeah. And, it'll, and it'll then stay there, Jack? Yeah, it'll change degree. It, yeah, if you, if you use the left or right button on the direction of the gyro, yeah. it'll change your course left or right by a, a, a small amount. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Roger, that's me. Well, there's Dezza over there, picking by his code. I have one Wellington yeah. behind me, but he's quite a long way back. Got the typical harbour in front of us there. Okay. Um, are you about yeah. 7,000, just over 7,000, Snapper? Uh, yeah, I'm actually yeah, at 6,800, close enough. Okay, well, yeah, that will figure. You're probably uh, around here somewhere. 6 8. But I have no idea where the others are. Oh, well, we're going the right way. I have uh, Tobruk at my uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, me too, just about. I know where I'm going, but yeah. I, it would be nice to arrive with the others, but I seem to have lost them. No, I think they're all lost. We're the only ones who are right. <laughs> <laughs> And if you have any questions, please put them on the live chat. Um, Daniel Boone once said, I've never been lost so. in the woods, just mighty confused for a few days. Mind you, you probably know all the answers anyway, <laughs> which is good. That's why he's there. Hey, Fleet Corps, how you going, man? Yeah, I can see chat. one can of us hello, over the hello. coast uh, at, our, uh, at our 11 o'clock. That might be me. I've got to brook just on my nose. I'm at 11,000, and I'm just sitting just off the coast. Yeah. Well, there'll be a group of three at your uh, at your four o'clock, higher than you. Yeah, looks like got I can see it rendering in down there, just under that cloud, in Tobruk Harbour. Off to my about two o'clock. 
Yes. I'm going to uh, fly directly over to Brook so that people can yep. uh, see if they can follow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see the pair just off to west of Tobruk there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if we get any fighter trouble, guys, let's um, maybe slow down easy and we'll just try to bunch up. Copy. It's in a bombing raid, and I think they're attacking the bombing raid. Maybe. I know there was a sighting at Gazala number two at Six Angels. He was headed uh, on a course of 300. Yeah, you see someone low, it must be Bubble Deluxe there. Let's see if this engages the autopilot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm flying now directly up towards Tobruk. I'm probably about, I don't know, maybe 15 k's from Tobruk, west of, or sorry, east of Tobruk. What's your height, uh, Ezzy? And I'm at 1100, sorry, 11,900 feet. Roger. Climbing. And as you can see, for those that want to get into bombing, it's a totally different game than getting in a fighter and not fighting. You want to do it properly. Yeah, I've got five contacts feet after Brook. I presume that's you guys. Three together, one on his own heading into the Brook, and one below the tree together. One below three. So I'll be treating the Brook as the initial point, and what I mean by that is that is where I start my bomb run. What I do there is I first thing I do is open the bomb bay. Uh, the most frustrating thing you can do is do a really good bomb drop and then realise that you left the bomb bay closed. So the first thing I do is uh, bomb bay open uh, and then I turn on to my desired heading, uh, which in this case would be the Gazala number two. And then I jump into my nose gun. Sorry, then I go mode two two, uh, which maintains course and altitude. Uh, and then I go into my nose gun and start looking for the target, making minute adjustments using my keys. Gotcha. <laughs> making minute adjustments, not making minute adjustments. <laughs> Fun, funny accents. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's my department. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hot down here, come on. <laughs> okay, so we're just coming up to Brook Harbour there. Back down there a there. This is funny the second time. There's some ships down there. Okay, I should be overflowing to Brook Harbour in maybe a minute, and then I'll be uh, starting my bomb run. Gotcha. Yep, so. Yeah, trying to keep the pair of you in, this, in, in the window yes, there. So. Well, I'm just north of the western end of Brook Harbour now, uh, feet wet. Okay. And, uh, I'll see you guys anyway. Yeah. 9,400 and climbing. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm at 14,000, just coming up to Brook. I've got three Wellingtons on my one o'clock. Gotcha. Yep. I think I've got ahead of you guys, probably because I'm not climbing as hard. Well, if we all make it to Gazala, it's, uh, if we actually hit it, it's going to get absolutely blasted. Ah, now I see you. Through the rear turret. I'm on your low one to two o'clock. This can look around easy there. Okay, so I've just hit mode 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, craft a little bit of a shimmy. Yeah, so that's it. It went to... Um, yeah, a little bit. So, Ezzy, do we have to go out of the autopilot first? No, you can yeah. go straight from course mode to mode 2-2. Two, two, okay. If you're on the right heading. Yep. So, as Paddle was saying, my aircraft's now pointing a bit right. So, I'll have to readjust using my nose gun. Okay. So one key feature about this target is that there are a number of airfields. Uh, there's Gazala number three and then there's Gazala number two. So make sure you pick the right Gazala when you're uh, lining up on the target uh, using your map. So it should be the second uh, target, correction, second airfield that you come across along your line of path. That's the we're going. So for anyone that's following me, I'm kind of more or less pointing in the right direction. I can't yet see the airfields to do my last minute corrections, but this should be uh, close enough at this stage. Must be Marlow over there. This airs in there. Okay, we'll go into the front gun and I'll show you what Ezzy was talking about as far as um, you know you're straight on and how you adjust the, the nose of the plane using the gunner. So I'm still in my front gunner, I'm just waiting for the airfields to draw in. Uh, if you use your map you can You can see the drop is now pretty well straight, so we know that that's where the aircraft is heading. And as we get closer to the target, we can start putting it into the gunner's position. So you've got Ezzy's plane there just on the left hand side of the rectangle. So I'm going to need to move this aircraft a little bit to the left. See a slight change to the left, but until you get the airfield in, it should be if I use it now. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, so I just need to adjust it a bit left. And 
and mine players, as he said, that we've got to hit the right airfield. So you get Gazala number three, Gazala number two. So um, bigger airfield with the cross. See the first one, we should be able to line up there. Um, which I think that's the first one right there. You see that flat bit of ground. And you can see the town here. That would be that town there. So you see the road on the other side. Right there. They were heading down. A little bit of a right adjustment. And, uh, we're on a target. Black. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the cockpit view, you've got the two airfields here, and Gazelle number two is that one. Well, that one. Okay, so yeah, confident over that. And uh, I mean, the good thing in a well, it doesn't fly faster, so you've got plenty of time to. Um, plenty of time okay, to so Gazala number three has just drawn in for me, and Gazala number two is straight ahead. I'm uh, I'm going to open Bombay doors. Yeah, Bombay <laughs> doors. Make sure Bombay doors are open. Bombay doors. Bombay doors are open. We know it's open because it's up, and it says open. Open shut. There we go. Uh, I'm going to adjust to go to Salvo. Okay, so you've got Salvo, so all the bombs are going to drop at the same time. Um, we've got about 18.250s or something like that, so it's going to be a hell of a lot. Let's have a look around and see if we can see anyone else. No, can't see anyone else. Go back to the front gunner's position now. Make sure, just make sure we've got the reticle on. Okay, reticle is on. Days. Good to go there. Go back into the next in the gunner. There's a nice road that uh, leads right to the airfields. Yeah, that's quite a help, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I've got oh, this oh, island oh. number two in my front left, gun. So we'll go a bit left. Just about to go into my bomb aimer position. There's nothing more I can do. I'm pretty much straight at the target. Okay, so number number three is just on coming through. You can see that, and we should be going straight to number two. Here comes number two. There's and also oh, we're going to the number two. Bomber in this position. That's correct. Whereabouts are really they located gone. with regards to the airfield? Uh, I'd have to recheck the uh, graphic that I did for it. Oh, not to worry. Okay, that's the matter. They're um, located on. The left and right hand side. Okay, so Gazala number two. Gazala number three. Just sorry, make sure you don't drop on Gazala number three. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going over Gazala number three now with the bomb site. We've got a mesh speed 12 o'clock low. Okay, and nearly ready to go. Yeah, I think he's yes. on the field. There we are. Oh. Right, so uh, right I've got number middle. three in, in the bomb site now. And bomb's gone. We're bomb's going to gone. keep going straight and level and then down to the coast, then north after a little bit more. This saw Rezzy's bombs go past there in the left hand side. I don't know if anyone else saw that. Well, that might have been flat. Bomb's gone. I went right over the cross of the runways with the crosshairs. Oh, there's the Excellent. runway. 
That's unbelievable. That's the first time that's ever happened. All right, guys, I'm going to initiate a turn to the north and then follow the coast back to the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's going the wrong way, but that's okay. Let's see. It says the bombs dropped a little bit short. Okay. Everyone seems to be turning to the south. Uh, and any, well, any, because I'm oh, filming no. this. Oh, there's some more bombs. Nice working. Bomb. Lovely hit. Gone. Um, I'm over number two, number three. Nice work, gentlemen. Ooh, the gun is looking around, so there must be a fighter here somewhere. Close your bombos. Oh, thank you. Close your bombay. Follow the coast back to the brook. Get in your rear gun and shoot the bad guys. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, we'll just watch the drops of the welly there. Oh, another one there. Yep, fight is over the airfield now. Yep, more bombs on. Right in the middle of the runway there. Yep. Yeah, that fight is going to be climbing pretty hard, isn't he? Climb back on. No, I crashed. I think we could gang up on him. Crashed? I think, think Crabber got to get on uh, there's obviously an E7 that got blown to pieces by all of us on the <laughs> airfield. Okay, let's see if that Willis hit the target. Oh, oh that son! Is whoever just oh. dropped in did a really good job. I think it was Snapper. Okay, so the guys are in front of us there, so we'll join in. I've got 0.77 of the kill, so I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah, nice work. <laughs> Did anyone notice if the airfield is destroyed? Yep. Yeah. It came up destroyed with all the number two. No. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, high altitude bombing. It's uh, good fun. Yeah. That is very yes, well led, Izzy. Yes, number two. Achieved. Very, very well done. All right. Well done. Brilliant. So pretty much all that's left to do now is to navigate your way back to Tobruk uh, and land. And uh, if we've got any fighters. Um, so what I do with the rear turret, uh, rear turret, as Paddle was saying at the start of the live stream, has a really restricted view. But what you can do is, um, if you rotate the turret, all the way left or all the way right, you have a clear piece that pretty much gives you reasonably good view, and that's what I use uh, for doing my initial check to see if there's any bad guys. Once I see that there's a bad guy there, I then jump into my gun sight view and move the turret to the uh, location of the bad guy and shoot. The danger with the Wellington turret, however, is that you can become very target fixated and be fixated on one, not realising there's two or three other bad guys. Uh, maybe even closer, so uh, you have to uh, maintain good situational awareness if you're using the gun sight. Okay, so now we're down. There you get to book over here, so it should be there in five minutes. All my attempts have climbed to 232. Yeah, watch out for that.
Yeah, so I'm descending to the north. Then I'll cut east. Okay, so we're heading back east towards the book, as we said. And yeah, my front turret guy is book going crazy. Yeah, mine around. too. Yeah, what's that fight? There is a fight here. Right there is on the yeah. coast. Yeah. Oh. Guys, we'll uh, to book number two is going to be the landing spot. Roger. Mm -hmm. Copy. If you if you like, um, what I'd like to do, given that you guys have spent this time doing this with us for the live stream, is if you can let me land first, and sure. I'll film you guys coming in. But um, just Roger. need to just need to announce who it is. Copy. So right. you know later on when you go, who was that? Then I can say, okay, this is who. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, because obviously I've got any names on. Oh, if I prang, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm about the line. Yeah, for all as Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Careful, please. You don't look friendly. Oh, I've got a hurricane escort, so... Oh, nice. Oh, that's Bondi. Yeah. Uh, g'day, Bondi. How are you? He's not on this channel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, Bondi's a great fella, don't you think? Good pilot. Good yeah. pilot. <laughs> I mean, I, I can remember in the old days when he was a master of the hurricane. Yeah. And he was shooting down 109s like there was nobody business. Then he changed over to the blue side, dark side, and became a master on the 109. I mean... Huh. Okay, I'm just going to drop the nose now and start descending. Oh, there he goes. Yes, sir. I did. I started laughing. <laughs> oh, you did well, mate. But when we were actually making the flashcards, um, you know, guys would join us and we had never flown and we used those as test cases if we could get the flashcards to. <laughs> you know, because they were designed for people who didn't know the aircraft to get to know the aircraft. It wasn't designed for people who already knew it. Okay, so we're just dropping the nose down now. I'll, um, I'll just rock the mouse over where to brook number two is. I'm going to trim out a bit because it's bringing the nose up. No. 30 bombers there. trailing long. Uh, six from uh, Gazala. Just be aware, everyone. I think there's a, a blue raid on Tabrook coming through shortly, and they'll have escorts with them, so we oh. may get some fighter activity shortly. Okay, so Tabrook uh, runway is east west, so we're pretty well coming. Got a single contact climbing hard behind the last bomber. Yeah, good luck, whoever they're I hope it's not me. Well, I hope it's not me. Mm -hmm. But uh, the runway's east-west, guys, so you pretty well come straight into it. Target. Is it? Yeah, 109. Okay, so I think I'm the last bomber, so I'm pretty safe. So I'm just going to come around here. Obviously, you're still quite high. I don't need a map anymore. Uh, 10,000 feet. I need to drop a lot of... Yeah, before I get anywhere near that, so I'm just gonna go over here. 109 is taken care of, guys. You're clear. Oh. Nicely done, Lou. Oh, well excellent, Lou. Yeah. I don't care what people say about you, Lou. You go okay. <laughs> <laughs> Buy that man of beer. <laughs> that was Alpha Z at the jump. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, trying I to get didn't it. even have time to get anxious. Trying to get some screen time and it didn't work for him. <laughs>
this has been a great session. Uh, thank you, Paddle. Thank you, Ezzy. Yeah, yeah, good you guys. Yeah, it's good fun. Hopefully, it showed people how much fun you can have flying bombers. It's different than flying fighters, but it's good fun. Yeah. Just on uh, finals now, guys. Roger. I'm just going to drop the speed down. You can see I'm doing 200. Get that right down. Retrim as well. I'm into land. Get in that uh, speed down about a hundred, nose down. And as I said to the guys, I'll um, I'll turn around when I get here and we'll watch the other guys come in, and uh, that will conclude the live stream. So, yeah, thanks for those who were able to watch today. Hey, Robert Satino, I see you coming in. Colin, how you going, man? Right, Paddle, I'm coming in right behind you. I'm out of fuel. Radio. Um, I'll go the I'll go the left hand side then if you want to go the right. Or you can take center, whatever you want to do. Okay, here we go. You with that? I'll get to the well, he's just flying way. over me. That's me, I think. Which is good because I've got the sun behind me. Pattern alert above down. Copy, I'm on your right side. Bouncing all over the place. I'm following you, Marla. Yeah. Roger, yeah, I'm I'm about to turn in. I don't think there's anyone else in the way. So oh. here we hey. Yep, gear down. You're going to want to extend further, Marla. You won't, you won't slow down. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I just want to lose some speed. Flaps going down. Hey, he's trying to climb where these guys are coming in. I need to lose a bit more height as well. Yeah, Colin, hope you enjoyed the uh, live stream, mate. Sorry, I saw that just as I was landing, so once again, thanks for... Thanks for joining in. Another big shout yeah, out to you for see, um, sitting uh, back One more formation coming in from the south. Roger. Copy. They'll be gone for the ship, so they shouldn't affect us on the airfield. 
Snapper's approaching from the northwest. Still about 15 miles out. Radio. Oh, sorry if you anyone hear the dogs going off. Our neighbors' dogs are doing what neighbors' dogs do. But it would be hilarious if we landed and then these hinkles hit the airfield. <laughs> yep. You've definitely got a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the keyboard for a minute. The guys are going to not land until I'm back into that uh, yeah, that port. Well, my gun has just called them out. Oh, bandit, six oh. o'clock high. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Quick, Pat, come back. <laughs> Can I just check? Is it one, two, or three we're going for? Uh, two, I think. It's the one two. Okay. immediately to the south yeah. of the airfield. Okay, oh, thanks. Me. Thanks. I need to turn in. Maybe it's deliberate, because that's what he wants to capture. That's how exciting it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to turn in in the hope that Pat will be there just as I touch down. Otherwise, I'll overshoot deliberately. Roger. Yeah, and I'm, I'm behind you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the call-outs for bandits 12 o'clock high. <clears throat> Four o'clock high. At this height, I'll be lucky to be able to bail. Dropping my undercarriage. Yeah, it's it's a group of three hindcalls. I can see they're just going over top of me. Pat, where are you? Are you going into land, Snapper? Yeah. Oh, Roger. Okay. Pat should appear just as I'm touching down. If not, I'll do a go around. Yeah, I'm going to do a go around. I'm right behind you. Roger. That's great. I'm looking at the two of you, then looking at the shadows behind you, too. That you're... Does it look good? Yeah. I see paddles, Swelly, there parked. Yep. Okay, doing a doing an overshoot, going around. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah, too late. We're all yeah. reporting our landing. <laughs> oh, that is this. We're all gonna part your hair and then go for another for another yeah, trip. Yeah. As he's about one minute out from landing, landing from the east. But close enough. <laughs> one online oh. here. Should we come in from the east then? Yeah, I'm landing from the east. Roger. Yeah, let's see. One online. Oh. I'll we'll just extend and then come back with the sun behind us. Where's he at, Jack? Uh, Angel is eight. Hey, Paddle, which way are you expecting us to land? From the west or from the east? Okay. West to east, going, okay. Going around. Yeah, there's a couple of them. So... Oh, the air is full of Wellingtons now. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to think it's Christmas. Okay, let's we'll see what oh, you're these guys. Yeah, I think oh, that's someone's me. <laughs> Yeah, Tally. They're inland from the field. You guys should be clear. Okay. Roger. Any aircraft guns going off? Okay, this is slot on south of number three, so I'm going to make a turn. Mm. Yeah, put them west of the field, uh, probably about three miles. Mm. Hand Jack, bring them down a little bit. Give me a hand. Who's that low over the bay right now approaching? Oh, that? that's, that's me. I'm going to turn left and see if I can get in. Okay, Marlo, I'll be behind you. Roger. Oh, I'm following someone. I'm on someone's four o'clock over the bay. Low. That's probably Roger. Snapper. 
almost over to, is it, to Brook number one? The third 109 above you, Jack. Copy. These are AI. Drop in gear. Got one coming in on your six, Jack. Well, this could be a very interesting end to a uh, great mission. Coming, coming in from the northwest. Here we go. Sorry yep. for the dog barking. <laughs> I'm okay. on your distant uh, seven o'clock, Marlo. Roger. Following your circle. Mm. Yeah, right in front of my nose. Dropping flaps. Alerts in the tomahawk. Tomahawk, right. I have fighters oh, 10 o'clock high. Good hits, look. Good hits. Oh, oh. Watch out. I got that on. I was watching that. Nice. <clears throat> oh, look at him coming down. Good shooting, alert. Yep. Yeah, Okay, so Marlo's coming in. Yep. Okay, Marlo, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna Someone commentate you coming fast. in, mate. Oh, he's got some. Is oh, he's looking good. good. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. I've just come inland from the harbour. I think I'm on um, Snapper's long. Oh, nice landing. Six. Nice landing, mate. Yeah. Snapper's I'll on let, final. I'll let him run. Marlo. Okay, Snapper's coming in. Get down. Is that so? Snapper, that's check coming six, in. Check six. That's Snapper coming in now. Right out. Right on. Marley, you better get out of those snappers road there, mate. I'm just clearing to the right. X6 again. Well, the snapper's going to be coming through the dust. Go here, he's next. Nice snapper. Nice one, mate. Who, me? Yeah, it's just a fool, the fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Bubba. Right on, Bubba's coming in. Turning in for final. We'll be after Bubba. Right on. Uh, somebody, been, and I'm just turned it on final. Okay. Guns are still going off here. Yeah, slots over the bay at the moment, so I'm just turning around. Let you guys land it. Okay, I'm over the third sand dune. Okay. I'm tucking in behind her. So who's who's coming in now? That's Dazza just crossing the other airfield. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I'm behind you, okay. Dazza. Here comes Dazza. Guns, where are they firing? Oh, up there. Uh, who's a hurt? Shot me. Hey, Pat, I'm going to try to bring this tomahawk in with no wing. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, I'm just getting Dazza coming in at the minute. Oh, dead. Almost at the threshold. That's Bubba just behind you. And who's behind Bubba? Who's number three? Oh, who's number three? Not sure. Down. Nice. Got a bit of speed going on. I'd, uh, I'd get soft. off the runway pretty quick, mate. It's... Yeah, I'm coming down on your <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm coming in hot. I have a tendency Love to come me. in hot. Oh, Lord. I'm up in number three. I'm just about right. to come over the uh, threshold. Oh, well, Bubba, you can watch that later on. That's not too bad, mate. And, uh, Ezzy, you last. I'm coming in now, just about touchdown. Right out. Eh? Um, you're coming straight at me, mate. Oh. Oh. It, Ezzy, yeah, you're consistent, you're coming straight at me.
Dust, Lurch. dust, dust. Lurch coming in final, missing a wing. Okay, so Lurt in a Tomahawk yep. is coming in. Let's see how he goes. Doing some serious rudder to keep that anywhere near level. And when he slows down, that's when it's going to get him. Here he goes. And. Oh! Thank you, slot in half. Yeah, I'm well just done. banking around now. I just thought I'd let the okay. spider land. I'm down. Nice. Yeah, slot's just coming in now. But don't worry about me, paddle, paddle. Just, just carry on. Oh, everyone, now that looks the, like uh, a kitty hawk, but it may be a 109. This is oh. the end of our <laughs> Wellington you know, 109 as it with Wimpy tutorial live stream. <laughs> Thanks for those who were able to watch today. Thanks for all the guys who joined. As we Easy all hope to do our gunner seats. And um, had a so ton of fun. Are we all sat on the airfield um, now? A lot of people hopefully uh, have learned a bit more about the whirly. And <laughs> no, pressure. To, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Had a bomb in the circle. Um, slot. I'm down he's uh, in coming in now, he's the last the willy ball. home. He's got a hurricane covering him, so he's safe. Uh, it's like there's absolutely no pressure that this is the end of the live stream and it's your choice which way it goes. So, <laughs> <laughs> My palms are very sweaty. <laughs> Looking alright, nice little side slip. Now's not the time to say there's a 109 up here, is there? <laughs> <laughs> there's not, I'm just kidding. Well, flak shooting at something. Yeah. Righto. Let's see how he goes. Looking alright at the good. minute. Looking good. It's like Memphis Last Bell home. all over again. Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? Oh, yes. No worries at all there, mate. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, and a nice three-pointer oh, to oh, end. Oh, Nicely oh, done. Oh, very oh. good. Put us to shame, slut. Absolutely. Let's see, if he, let's see if he can stop. Yeah. <laughs> Do not nose over now, Slot. <laughs> Gently does it. Fantastic. Everyone, jump into your front guns and blast. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Well, once again, thanks everyone for joining today. Really appreciate it. Well, that it's was been a really great good. Mission. Oh, that was excellent. Yeah. I'll let the guys commentate what they say. And, uh, I think everyone awesome. hit the target. Well, just, I tell you what, I mean, for me, I have hit the target before from a welly, but I have a feeling that was luck. Uh, this time, I managed to use the front gun sight to line up on Gazala number two, uh, which helped enormously. And I also managed to engage mode 22 this time, and this is the very first time, so that it didn't Wheels wander all over the sky and, and not oh, go where I wanted it to go. So that worked, and, uh, and I hit the target, so yeah. And I got home. I mean, God. <laughs> I think we all we all got Nicely home. Done, mate. Nicely yeah. done. I think we did. We did. Yeah. Um, for me, it's it's just great flying um, a bunch of bombers with with live crew, live pilots. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that that's really good. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Me, me likewise. Just having six of us doing a bomber raid is just fantastic. It's so yeah. authentic. It's for. Yeah, well, when the Christmas um, dust has settled, uh, you know, slot, Bubba, we're going to do a couple of bombing runs, aren't we, Willies? For sure. On yeah. uh, some of the servers, whichever server happens to be uh, up and running, we'll do it. Well, I've I've tried. I, I spoke to, I originally was with Blue on the TWC. I spoke to Fatal Error, and he got me sorted. Yeah. Uh, I've done a bombing run. I've called in cover, and it worked. I haven't done the, you know, Kanikabine or whatever it is yet. That's all a bit much for me at the moment. Yeah. But I had cover. I had a couple of hurries who chased off a couple of 109s. Brilliant. And I successfully bombed um, Cockells or something like that and got back home safe. Nice. Um, so it would be great to get together with, say, two or three and each call in bombers and cover. Yeah. That would be, be really good. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I must admit, all I've done um, so far is, is fly an individual bomber and hit a target and get home again, uh, or not. I haven't <laughs> done any of this calling in escort or whatever, but that's the next thing to, to learn, I suppose. But I think yeah. tonight we, we think we took out the airfield, so I think we can count that as a, a, as a good mission job done. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, and it wasn't Danger Dogs, was it? It was, you know, it was... Um... No, no map, yeah, no, yeah. no um, planes or outside views yeah yeah it was he the real McCoy because because his his um tutorial on the on the mode 22 was excellent because I've, I've struggled with that as well with losing height and yeah 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 that's what we want to hear is uh, yeah someone's it worked for someone so here comes the bad guy your rear guns everyone here comes the bad guy back. oh quick get out of here here's guys Peter, oh. Again. oh my goodness see you later see you guys see Bye. ya take it easy cheers have a good new year. Yeah, all the best. Oh. We'll just watch this. Bob, we're getting out of here before I'm dead. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just, this will be the end. I'm just filming this and uh, see what happens to him. Oh, that, <laughs> he's been hit. Oh, he's yeah. been hit. Yeah, I think he's in all sorts. Yeah, I think uh, if he's still in control yeah, of that. I'm trying to find him in my uh, front gun site. Here he comes. Oh, dear. Oh, of course he's aiming straight at me. Yeah. Yeah. Right oh, no. Well, this is a different way of ending the live stream. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll see what happens to this fellow, and then we'll finish it up. So once again, thanks for everyone. And for those watching, um, don't forget. Yeah, I think I gave them a good blast. Desert Wings to Brook and Cliff Stover Blitz are special on sale on Steam. Go and check it out. And if you get the bundle, you pretty well get Cliff to Dover for free. So, great time to get into the fight. Oh. Well, they're spitty after him now. Big explosion. Yeah, fuel, I think. Of some uh -huh. sort. Yeah. Got the fuel. Oh, done. he just took some. He just took some hits on his wing there. <clears throat> Are there two of them up there? There's a Spitfire after him. Oh, okay. Alpha Z is dead. He's down. Oh, well, he finally got, got his screen time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect. Finish. Alpha, when you oh, watch the one, live stream, enjoy the end, mate. <laughs> It, uh, anyway, guys, I got to go. That was great. Thanks, Paddle. Thanks, everyone. No all worries. Right. Thanks, guys. Right. Thanks, I'm out of here. I'm going to end the live stream as well. Yeah. See ya. I'll, um, yep. Yep. I'll share the I'll share the screenshots on Facebook. Take it easy. Uh, right Fingers all crossed best. for Kim's uh, dad, Pat. Yeah. Right on. We'll catch us all later. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time. You're all the best, Pat. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your User channel.